Christmas is just around the corner. I don't know about you, but I have always wanted a telescope for Christmas. I never got one though, and I'm glad. Chances are, it would have been some cheap and it would have ruined everything for me. Are you looking for a holiday present for your little astronomer? When looking for a telescope, people tend to go to big name brand stores and get one from there. In this video, we'll get a random telescope from Target and see if it could actually make a kid happy. So we went to Walmart and everything was already sold out, so all the scopes were gone to happy kids, I guess. Uh, then we went to Target and there was one more telescope available. Okay, so what does it have for you? Oh my god, it's so light. That's the only one they have. So. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we now officially own our second telescope. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so embarrassed to carry it around the store. I had to carry it around the store. Hey, maybe it's a good one. You don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. Tomorrow. So we were like, what if we have parents and want to buy a scope for our kid? And this is 20 bucks. So does not break the bank. Pretty decent. I mean, the good thing about this one, we're sure it's going to be pretty bad. We'll see. But um, at least it doesn't show any like crazy Hubble nebulae everywhere and stuff because there right. were like boxes that had like like crazy galaxies and nebulae all over the place. Things that you probably cannot see with this $20 yeah. scope. So this one shows the moon only, although it's a telescope, so it should be able to show us some cool targets like at least right. Andromeda and, and Orion and some planets. So we'll see. Uh, it's about to get dark, so we'll see soon. Um, but let's see what's inside really quick. One triangle. It's like. How many pounds is that? 0 0.01? It's like, it's really, really light. This one is less light. So I'm guessing the telescope is this one. Let's see. Oh, this one has a tripod on it. <laughs> the heavier one has a tripod on it. Ah! Telescope. Manual, okay. So with it in this box, the Smithsonian telescope for $20, we have found the scope and a tripod. Oh. <laughs> he stabbed me already. He already hits me, so... Okay, let's see if we can pull out really quick. Can you at least see some, some light? This light there? You probably could. I didn't search for it though. Oh, actually it looks pretty magnified, yeah. It's 30 times, supposedly. Yeah, I can, I can see you, but... Wow. Impressive. <laughs> so, uh, I'm guessing just... Stick it on there. It snaps into place. I don't think we need that right now. Wow, looks fancy. Alright, so before we go, I'm going to try to attach my ASI 1600 on it so we can take some cool pictures like, I don't know, maybe Andromeda or other triangle and we'll see. But I don't, I don't think it's going to fit, but... Oh dang. <laughs> anyway, let's go to, to a place and try it out. Okay, let's see. Oh, huh, not that bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The way to focus with this little telescope is to either push or pull uh, the scope here in the back. I'm not gonna move it now just because it was already good to go. But yeah, you, well, yeah, I'll do it actually. Oh yeah, by pulling. Just like that is how you focus it. Very easy. All right, now we're gonna try to to see Saturn, uh, which is right there. Do you see it? Not yet. It's right there. I'm too short. You're gonna have to do it because I'm too short. Okay. We have to uh, we have to do this on the car because we don't have any other stable device. Okay, so oh. the thing here. So again, Antoine is going to. Ooh. I can push see some neighbors pull. right there. Ooh, ooh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna push or pull the telescope at the end to focus on it, which is pretty, it's, that's pretty simple. It's much simpler than I oh, thought it would be. I see it. Uh, okay, I got it. Now I have to focus. Oh my God, I fell off the car. 
Yeah, it's Sorry. Look, all you can see, this is Saturn. All you can see is uh, I'm too short. a dot of pink colors because there is so much uh, chromatic aberration in there. You can't see anything. It's just right now, all I see is like a, a glowing br a bright pink and green, uh, uh, pink and green uh, star. I was hoping to see the uh, the rings at least, but so Saturn, you cannot see anything. It's just so. The colors are terrible. See what I mean? Like it's just like like bright green and bright pink. Okay, so now we did the moon, which was not too bad. The moon was pretty bad. Planets, you cannot see anything. And then Andromeda, uh, a galaxy. With my binoculars, I could see it uh, a little bit from uh, from this place. But um, let's see with the telescope. So I'm gonna have to just hold it, I guess and scan the sky to find it. I know it's right there. Uh, okay. But I'm sure I will be able to see it. Ah, oh, the wind in my eye. Yeah, there's no point to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be here two hours trying to find a... Uh, it's just not there. gonna work. There's no way I'm gonna find it. At 30 times magnification? I'm not sure. I mean, the moon, let's see. Let me guess, let me see if the moon is actually good or not. The moon is not, I mean, it's bad in a way, you can't see any craters for sure. In, and all the edge is like a bright color, which is because of the lens aberration. Even those lights over there, which are really, really orange, look like, like have a green glow on them because of the uh, aberration. That's how bad the lens is. It looks green or blue. Like I see an orange center and a very blue or green uh, glow around it. Okay, so obviously this is pretty bad. Uh, don't waste your money on this. I feel already really, really bad for spending our 20 bucks on this useless piece of plastic. It's, uh, it's really bad. If I was a kid, I would say I would look for the moon for two seconds and put it away forever. Like, eh. um, it could potentially be a hobby killer for young astronomers, so we just don't do it. <laughs> no, like, I, I think they have some good ones, maybe around like, you know, 100 bucks. Uh, however, you know, you see how we feel about this, so just, you know, welcome our new $20 paperweight. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I burned $20 on this. It's, it makes me angry almost. But it is rather cute, so we are gonna keep it just because it's it's neat to look at. But other than that, no, don't do it. Like I'm angry that those companies sell this, even yeah, even sell it, and a lot to sell this because it's just why, like poor kids, right? And um, I'm watching the reviews and see online what what people say about it, and I'm sure it's gonna be like one star, one star, one. I'm sure because this. Uh, it's just sad, like poor kids. How to destroy a Christmas by this. Don't do it. Anyway, we'll see you next time and guess guys. <laughs>